live and recording. We're gonna we're gonna start this off with uh, some bit burner. Bit burner, you're gonna love my nuts. You hit it like this. Super. My levels. I need to fix my levels. Linguini. My numbers. I gotta fix my numbers. Alright, oh, get, get my numbers in. You're gonna love my nuts. Bit burner. You're gonna love my nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. nuts definitely uh, so the big news big 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 flying news today I saw some fucking dragon flying over the Verrazano Bridge I shit you not I saw it I took pictures everybody always says they see stuff unidentified in the air I have proof proof can't have a house without a proof it's on my my Twitter my Twitter page. You could see the dragon there. It was it flew right over a bridge, right next to where I live. I'm kind of on the roof right now of a building. That's why you don't hear the uh, the sewer going on. I'm gonna go back down to the sewer a little bit later. But I got some pictures of this fucker flying over the bridge. He went past my wind. He went like he was far away, but. Yeah, if you go to uh, look me on Twitter, uh, slash Nick the Rat, you'll you'll see it there. I'm, I wouldn't shit you like that. I would I would not do that to anybody. Uh, it's crazy too because the freaking 
NASA sent up. I'm telling. They sent this this uh, satellite into the, into outer space into orbit. I guess you know it's it's close by. It's it's a they they call it the W first. They say it's the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, but they're lying. It should mean it's the Wyvern Wyvern Field Infrared Survey Telescope. Why why Wyvern? Why the they they're looking for dragons, man. They're here. Fucking dragons are here. They're trying to trying to cover it up. So they're scared that people are going to go crazy. But I saw them. It was pretty quiet, too. It 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 started off like, it was like a whoo. I heard that noise. So I look out, and I see this thing flying. I grab my phone. Whew. Uh, luckily, the lights were reflecting off of it. I, my flash was not going to hit. It, it was not going to. It was, but, uh, yeah, we... We got pictures of this. We're going to bring it into the light of day and expose NASA for what they are doing. Man. I think that's why they want to get into the San Bernardiners. They're the iPhones that they had. I think they had pictures of dragons. The Those terrorist people, man. Maybe they're, they're like ISIS dragons. I, I wouldn't fuck with an ISIS dragon. That would, that'd be really scary. But uh, I think that's that's why they're trying to get into those iPhones, so those those two shooters. They probably have evidence that we don't know about, and they're trying to they're trying to keep it under keep it under wraps. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get off the roof. But yeah, go check. Check those pictures out and let me know what you think. And if you, if you ever hear anything in the sky, I got other news. I, I know they're here. I think I, I got proof. I'm gonna, I'm proving to you tonight that the dragons are here, and it's NASA cover up. But first, we're gonna listen to. Oh, what should we listen to? Flowers of the Meadow. Flowers of Meadow by 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 little. <clears throat> Flowers of Meadow by Little Light. It should be good. I think you'll like it.
you hear what I said? You fairy. Are you talking to me? I got, I got off. I got off. I got off the roof. I'm not gonna get fucked up by no dragons tonight. No. Uh, shit. Uh, so I heard. I heard this noise, and apparently it's being reported all over. Uh, somewhere, somewhere in Oregon, there are people that hear this also. Um. Let me see if I can find this for you guys and play it for you, so you know if you ever hear this, you could you could duck and cover or sit and roll. Uh, I'm not too sure what they would call it. What 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 it is what you do, but uh, yeah. Let me let me get this up for you. One second here. This one is really loud, so I don't want to play that one. I gotta find I gotta find a better one for you. Here we go. Uh, yeah, here. And here, here's a good one. Yeah, yeah, let's do... This one shouldn't be too loud. Strange noise in Forest Grove is getting a lot of attention today. A lot of attention. It's coming from something off of Gales Creek Road. Yeah, it's not just strange, it's really annoying, actually. And the neighbors have no they're, idea if it's pissed. a warning or something else. So we sent Brent Weisberg to get answers about what's happening. It's dragons, all right? Stop neighbors kidding yourself, man. Neighbors in Forest Grove neighborhood just... have no idea what this mystery sound is. Dragons. But they agree on three things. Dragons, loud, dragons, obnoxious. and dragons. They want it to stop. There it is. That's what I heard. Tone is very high, so it gets to a point where it really affects your hearing. Well, Probably no shit, they're dragons. What the sound is. It's dragons. hard to identify what angle it's coming from because it's just kind it's of... It's coming 45 degrees area. onto your She's face. Five it's times. Times. Hate you. Her neighbor has heard it three times. Three. And they both say it's happening during the day and into the evening. Paula posted a recording she made and threw it up on Facebook. It's been shared repeatedly. The <laughs> I blame Facebook. For the dragons they hear that uh they could get exposure and they're they're coming out they're howling they're whistling it's crazy though because this noise was this noise was heard in a lot of places but um it was is that it no that's it's really not there's there's other places that they heard it uh a long time, like 2009, they first heard it. But I'll play it. I'll play that one for you in a little bit. Um, there's also this guy. He wants. He wants. It. I don't. I don't get it, man. People are just falling in love with dangerous shit. This guy wants to release rattlesnakes back into the wildlife, and he's just like, it's okay. It's, it's there. It's that goddamn garbage truck again. Uh, I can only find out where where that guy's coming from. It would be really great. But anyway, listen to this dude. He's I'm Tom French. He's in love with the snake. Assistant director within the Massachusetts Tell me, these dragons. And uh, I'm responsible for Mass Wildlife's Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. Rattlesnakes have always been here. Well, um, not always. Fared very well. 
it's one of our most imperiled uh, species in the state, and actually want the one that has declined the most. Good. Of they want to kill you. Our other what do they do? They've uh, been persecuted at times. Yeah. Uh, their habitat has been fragmented. Rattlesnakes undoubtedly are in deep peril in Massachusetts. Well, I want a more. I want a belt. I want a rattlesnake belt. Mass Wildlife's role in all of this is what? it is our mission, our statutory responsibility. Uh, to, to kill people with snakes and let the lizards serve take the back over the earth. Of the state. This is the prophecy, man. I'm telling you, this these whistle noises that we're hearing. Our proposal to uh, release rattlesnakes on an island and oh, oh, fall out of really the necessity of having at least one place in this state is a safety net for rattlesnakes, a place that they can be, that they can be safe from people. Not the other way around. Well, People are doing just fine. But um, the snakes, you have to until you got a rattlesnake people. biting your toes while you're walking through the woods. And the deliberate killing that's come from the, the public in the past. We have chosen uh, the largest of the islands at Quabbin, Mount Zion, for this project. Mount Zion, Zion is comparable in size to the habitat used by some of our other rattlesnake well, populations. Fuck, in the state. If, you, if you live in Zion, so pretty much cash in. If you have a will and. It provides some unusual and unique habitat features that yeah, rattlesnakes like require. humans to eat. They have to have a very deep den site in order to survive our winters. Could they leave the island? Yeah, they're perfectly good swimmers. Yeah, they're but coming to get the everybody. To swim off the island, uh, it would be unable to track itself back to the hibernation site. Oh, and it's too far to oh, find so another. Oh, so he's just going like to come into my so house. Then. Th thanks, dude. Our approach at Quabbin is going to be to take juvenile snakes that have either uh, been born in the wild at other Massachusetts sites and... Uh, Ma Massachusetts is fucked. I'm, s I'm sorry, guys. Well, I guess not as fucked as Brooklyn. We got dragons here. And apparently they're in Oregon. They're all... They're all over the fucking place. You know what? I gotta play a song because I'm, I'm starting to feel down. I don't, I don't like this, this dragon takeover. I'm gonna play this song. I think it's, I think it's called Brad Sucks. I know a guy named Brad. He was okay. He was cool. Uh, yeah, but anyway, this is by Funk Work. Brad Sucks. Let's see what, let's see what they got going. Oh man. Yes, fool. God? God? Well, I tell you, let me give you a little inside information about God. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist.
got a tube attached to his dick or something <laughs> so Betty these uh, whistle noises I'm telling like in 2009 in 2009 let me tell you that was uh, I don't even think I was born I'm, rats only live like two years I'm not gonna be around very long so you better just enjoy this now but anyway in 2009 I heard about this shit the whistles. I guess these dragons been around. Here, listen to this. Listen. Of metal welded inside the exhaust pipes that makes the car audible for almost a mile. Wait, not a car. This is... Tell me about the whistles. The whistles, the whistles and dragons. Are... Yeah, that's Anybody the dragon. In their neighborhood, it's going to be totally driven crazy. It sounds like what? It's, it's well, like a dragon. It's the woo woo. It's the woo woo. You know it's the dragon. They got the flows. They didn't trip off the flow masters. And decoration, man. It's just yeah. for decoration. That's, that's it. it. And that's all, man. We do it for decoration. Maybe if you car? kill it. Yeah, I got it on my car. It was being installed on the. It's the woo woo. I'm telling. It wasn't cars. These guys are. This is a cover up. They're getting deep into this, man. They're. They're, they're telling us some crazy shit. And we're just eating it up. Um, uh, it was uh, there was a big storm that hit Fiji. Also, I think today, maybe the storm was caused. It was caused by the dragons. They got big wings. If you look at the picture, uh, you go to you go to nicktherat. dot com, and then you go to the twitter. dot com, and then you combine the two and you add three you could see pictures of dragons i saw them tonight i took t- t- pictures they're pretty good too i'm telling you it's real but yeah let's let's hear about the cyclone i think they have something to do with each other this is a clip from cibis category five cyclone ever category five hit there at least one person has died Wait a second. Did he just say it was the largest cyclone ever? And only one person died? That's... Go humans. You're doing a good job. I'm sure there's like a... A lot of other things that died. More now from Carter Evans. Wow. With gusts up to 224 miles per hour, Winston may be the most powerful cyclone ever in the Southern Hemisphere. As it slammed into the island nation, oh, Southern Prime Minister took they social have, media it's with the a problem warning. with the news. They, they just say stuff that doesn't really go together, and then they change it later on in the newscast. They'll be like, this was the largest man ever who shot a gun. And then later they'll be like, he was the largest uh, man in South Korea who shot a BB gun. And then, like, later on in the newscast, they're like, buy some Coca-Cola. It's good for you. It's, I don't understand how they get away with this. This should be, this should be, like, totally against the law. I don't understand it. But, I don't know. This, NASA always covers stuff up. I don't know. Well, you don't know because they cover it up. God damn it. There's a lot of people that come down through the sewers these days. Fucking... Al Pacino, he won't leave me alone. He came by. He wanted a couple of drinks. 
That's why I was on the roof in the first place, because Al Pacino was just fucking pissing me off. He, he's got a big mouth, that guy. He's, uh, no! Whoa, yeah, I'm telling you. I just, None of my business. You want to push no, me to no, answer you. No, I don't want you to push me. I want you to shut up. All right, I'll just chill. I went to the... Well, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have even known about the alien. Well, dragons. But the dragons are our aliens, because NASA knows about this, because they got those things. I'm telling you, we've been being tricked into thinking aliens look like little green men when they actually look like big red dragons. I'm haunted by these things. I don't... I don't think that they're going to... The guy from the bar. Well, that was... Yeah, that was me. Then we had a couple drinks. You you came back with me. You're right. I know I am. I'm not retarded like you. I'm sorry, man. Well... Um... Uh, I don't understand why NASA always has to lie to us about these things. We got more uh, music, too. We could listen to it's good. It's good stuff. I, it's it's crazy because uh, I I I had to look for all these Creative Commons songs and stuff. And every now every now and then you you come across every now and then you come across something cool. Some some times this this is time by Vitaly Rybakin time. Time I arrive back, but back in time, the tally. This is this is time. Time by the tally right back in. It's the goof of all time. You got a moron. I think you're queer, I'm gonna tell you something, we're all queer. You wanna learn the first rule? You know if you ever spent a day in your life. You never open your mouth until you know the shots. Tennessee's tuning in tonight as well. Monday morning. Monday morning. With Nick with Nick Kurat. Oh man. Why'd she do that? Because I've been drinking. Hey! Shut up!
rest my case. What are you gonna do about it? Not asshole. No, no thanks. Ooh, this time by Vitaly right back in. Thank you. Thank you for those the musicians that put music out there and let people do do what they will with it. And if you don't want me to, I'll I'll stop. Just you can send me a message, I guess. I don't know. Um uh, So tonight's episode of of Nick the Rat Radio Live from the Sewer, Midnight from the Sewer, Rat Free Radio. I don't I don't really know what to call this endeavor. Uh let's call it Hide from Dragon Radio right now. I'm not going outside for at least another week or two, man. I there, there might be dead people. Not if, if I had TV, I'd put on CNN right now and see if there's any dragons, if you know what I mean. Oh. There's, there's a... We got sponsorships. Spon- sponsorships today. Today's show... Brought to you by. I got. Sorry about that interruption. Um, the ambulances came down into the sewer. They revived me. They gave me little rat mouth to mouth. Luckily, they had that little converter for the human to rat mouth interface. It saved my life. Um, right, well. The the sponsorships aren't real, I hope you all know. They're just random shit, you know? And I'm I'm just talking. Um just like you guys talking rap. We got another song. It's a good one. It's called Try Stan Try Stan by Chesman Plus uh, Playa Sir. Chez Monplacer. Also, all the music you hear tonight could be found on websites. 
Tristan. Jazz model plus her. <laughs> Let's see. Sponsorship, uh, at least this week. Thanks, dude. Fuck. Let's gonna drink that. What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Uh, no. One more Dugans. The guy from the bar. I don't know. I don't know. Why'd you do that? I did not do that. You did that. And that was a dope song. Thank you for making it and being alive. You only live once. I heard I heard that more than once. Um and apparently that scares people. Cause you know you never know when a dragon's gonna take a shit on your house and you're gonna suffocate from that, man. And I'm in the sewers. That'll come through the grates. It, they have to get diarrhea occasionally. Just because they're aliens doesn't mean they don't boop. Um, yeah, so NASA's in on this, man. I'm telling you, the I could tie this all together for you now. I know you've been waiting. You were like, why am I up at midnight on Sunday? Unless there's a reason. And the reason, because I'm going to tie this all together, the, the dragon alien... NASA government cover-up conspiracy of 2016 is it's about to drop. It's about to... It's, it's, so, I saw the dragon. I heard the dragon. It was the red dragon. So I had a run. of Instinctively, I knew to run. And Al Pacino, I don't know how he fucking works Fuck into you it. Fuck you, too! Shut the... F Maybe you do work into it somehow. I know exactly where your body is. What I'm looking for is some indication of a brain. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't... Woo! Uh, I'm going to tie it together now for you. Here. There was the, the woos and the whistles and the noises and then the dragons. And the NASA with the satellites and the science and the government. So here it comes. This is the tie-in. It's... Uh, it was a show called NASA Explained Files. Apollo 10 enters lunar orbit. As they pass around the far side of the moon, the, far side? the astronauts lose all contact with Earth. Uh, 
Lost recordings emerge, revealing an unsettling incident on the far side of the moon. Far side. What does that even mean? What's the close side? There are recorders that record whatever's going on on the backside, and then you do a data dump when you come around the front side. And Houston or Mission Control then can see what happened when you're around the backside. They're going to be like, Dragon! After the NASA astronauts return to Earth. Uh, Roger, Houston, we are returning to the Earth. NASA transcribes the tapes, then buries them in the archives without comment. These conversations are recorded in the transcripts, but those transcripts were classified. NASA would withhold information from the public if they thought it was in the public's best interest. Even after declassification, the transcripts lay undiscovered in the NASA archives until 2008. That was... Finding record of this conversation is like finding a needle in a haystack. Well, it no takes it's years to come to light. The tapes contain recordings of strange otherworldly music coming through the Apollo module's radio. Mm-hmm. Right, give it to me. What is it? The conversations that follow the sounds the David Bowie? makes it clear they are unlike anything the astronauts have ever heard. Huh? That is music even sounds out of space, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? That whistling sound? In their headsets, it sounded like a woo-woo kind of a noise. What? A what? Did he just say a... Exhaust pipes that makes the car audible for almost a mile. Dragons. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles go woo. The whistles go Anybody woo. That has it. Okay, we got the whistles go woo, and they got the woo. Very high, so it gets to a point where it really affects your hearing. Oh, and yeah, because of the wine or something else. So we sent Brent Weisberg to get answers about the what's whistles, happening. Which I heard in this forest grove na- when I saw the dragons. People, we have to find a way to stop abusive dragons. Their verbal and psychological tyranny must end. Uh, until that day, NASA's going to keep lying to us. We're just going to keep on lying Sounds to like, us. like, uh, you know, outer space type music. Outer space type music. If I were to hear something back there, the first thing probably would freak me out. Mm-hmm. Boy, that sure is weird music. Over the course of an hour, they mention it multiple times. This is not just some anomaly. This no. is something that they're all really hearing, and they're it's hearing really it. weird. It's weird. It's the woo 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 woo. Did you ever hear that, man? What? I got no life. Uh, well, I didn't ask you to to have a life. I just, dude, you gotta chill, man. It's probably all uh, Dugans. You fucking. Jammed up your arse, man. I was just he gives you this extraordinary gift, and then what does he do? I swear, for his own amusement, what? his own private cosmic uh-huh. gag yeah. reel. Woo! It's cosmic gag reel. He knows what's going on with the woo woo and the. Woo. I gotta hear the the rub dub say the woo at least one more time, man. He's great, man. For you know hours. Some, the, some neighbors are saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. Yeah. He supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody, and so that's like an alarm clock. Woo woo! It's the dragon alarm clock buyers. Today or tomorrow or whatever. Once I had to, I had to make it first. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. God, Chino dripped some of this this whiskey out of his ace. 
Chino ass whiskey blend. It's good. I could rebottle it and sell it. I definitely probably should. That dragon is probably going to come back here. I'm telling you, man, you have to go to Twitter and check this out. Nick, Nick the Rat, live from the sewer. I almost died in the sewer today. <laughs> until, until the EMTs, they, they resuscitated me. It's not as bad as that one time this dude on the subway stuck me in his mouth hole through his face plate. It was... It was traumatizing. Um, can I find more, some more music to play for you? I think. Yeah. I got a song called "Only Circles" by Armchair Nomad. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what, let's see what the Pacino think. Yo, Pacino, where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at, Pacino? Don't be such a fucking chump! Okay, okay, I'm gonna play it. Just, you know, chill, Pacino. Chill. Chill, Pacino. Only circles. I'm chair. No man. You are. Um, I'm a little drunk. I was. He sent me a bottle of Dugans earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see if he's he's around. What are you gonna do about it? I was gonna. Ask I, I asked you. I, uh, <clears throat> I said I asked you, man. What are you? Oh, what a big man you are! Hey, Wait, let me buy a pack of gum. I show you how to chew it. Ooh. Give me this pack of gum. Later. What is this? Your farewell speech? Oh, it's well. You guys are fucked down there, man. You got dragons. I got spider women, Zika virus queens. To help men who are going out there to try to earn a living, you fairy, oh. you company man. Shit. Boy, what are you drinking tonight? you.
spacecraft were interfering with each other. They were on VHF, and there was a bit of radio interference, ah, and that VHF was the source uh, of the sound. VHF was in show. That's what that Apollo uh, astronaut Al Wharton doesn't agree with the radio theory. The Apollo 10 crew is very used to the kind of noise Ain't that, that they should be hearing. Logic tells me that if there was something recorded on there, then there was something there. Well, I, tell, I don't know what the hell that was, babe. The Apollo 10 astronauts never publicly discussed what they heard. Well, why would they? They were smoking reefer up there, I'm telling you. Strange sounds. What are you going to do? They were all absolutely petrified of being grounded if there was even the slightest question mark over their state of mind. So what did they do? They stayed silent. Smoke so sweet. To date, the origin of the noises mentioned in the Apollo 10 recordings remains a mystery. It's got to be true. It's on TV. Very clear cause of what they heard on Apollo 10, which maybe we haven't uncovered yet. I just think we don't understand it. I know, I know, I have no idea what the he's talking about. I do for you, you don't do for me. What? Is that it? <laughs> uh, hey, dude, where, where did Nick the fucking rat go, man? We need to get him out of the shitter. I know he's in there. He probably just drank some coffee. I heard there was a study done. I think it's bullshit. It says that like three out of ten people that drink coffee get the shits. You know, when they gotta, you know, it's like a laxative, man. I know, I know you know what I'm talking about. When you drink that coffee, you gotta go to the... Is that it? Bon voyage, motherfucker! I don't know. One point, in fact, of which I spoke to you of which, I can't talk to you about it here. Uh, what? What just happened, man? Is... Your excuses are your own! Well, yeah, it's... I heard Rainer. Rainer was going on about a, a study about uh, the coffee poops. The guy's pretty fouled, fouled in the mouth, almost, almost worse than you. What are you gonna do about it, uh, asshole? I don't, I don't know. Fuck, man. Jeez. Oh, well, uh, that was uh, only circles. Armchair, armchair, and old man. That was pretty rocking. And we had uh, that, that mixed in with some, um, uh, you call that reality TV or re- real TV? But yeah, that's my, uh, I, th- I think I tied it all together for you with a nice little bow. There was, there was dragons, there was NASA, there, there was noise. And reptilian takeovers, and and basically that's whistles got whoop. Anybody? That's whoop. whoop. He's he's a good uh, he's a good whoop. Um. It's Nick. Uh, uh, it's uh, an, an hour. An hour is coming up. There's, there's much to talk about, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. This is such a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my radio, my, my radio show. So I guess I could play, play a little bit more. Play a little bit more music while I drink a little bit more of this ass whiskey. But which should I play? I like the name of, of this track. 
It's called Smoking Camels. Smoke. Smoking ca Smoking Camels. WJLP. It's be cool. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? No, nobody. Mexico City Hola Hol Hola Mexico City uh, uh, hel Hello Dallas um, Hola Kansas And we got a new Tennessee and then, who knows, somewhere over there, I can feel the power of the five people with the ten ears listening. Fuck you, you owe me the car! Okay, let's go. He gives you this extraordinary gift, and then what does he do? I swear, for his own amusement, his own private, I touch you. Rest my case. Where are you from? Are you talking to me? Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. <laughs> I, I, I hope you get home safe, my friend. You got. Tastes like it's dripping. Nope, that was definitely dragon shit. There, shit's dripping everywhere. So, I guess that's basically what you should take away from tonight's show. It's um all about uh, protecting. Uh, you're over you, the roof. I remember there was a roof, proof, you need proof on the roof of the house. So basically this, this uh, episode's about roof protection from outer space invaders. I hope you all have a good night. It's, well, Monday. Happy Monday, 104 AM. What's the weather? I gotta give a weather report before I go. It's in my contract. It's Rainer. Rainer's gonna nuke Earth if I don't do this show, basically. I didn't want to tell anybody. Uh, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. It sounded sound like it was raining earlier. It might have just been dragon piss. There's pictures. Alright, so, um... I, I guess I could play one more song as the closing, but, um... I gotta go to bed. It's... Late. I've done this a whole hour. Uh, Al Pacino is... He's, he's getting out this of... This is here. me! Yeah, I know. That's you. I hope you go. And don't come back, Al. 
No. Worship that never. No, no, okay, you drank too much through your ass tonight. All right, um, go to go to my website nicktherat.com or go to Twitter. Um, I don't know, just go to your bathroom. Drink coffee and take... Oh, yeah, end of that study. Mm. <sighs> the real news. I think this, this, this that should be more like like 9 out of 10 creatures that drink coffee are all probably going to drop a deuce. And... Okay, that's... I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it without... No! Uh, okay, fine. All right, um... Have a good night, everybody. Um, we got... We got Eve... Cat to me playing the song Fizz, Fizzle Nizzle? Toad, I don't know. I really don't. Well, you know, f- fuck Eve tonight. We're going to go out with another bid burner. He's cool. I, I hit him up on Twitter. He said, yo. Um, it hit. It's called Do You Got the Guts? He's got cool little pictures too. Uh, and bid burner taking us out tonight. Um, all right. Have a good night, everybody. Where you going? Going to to bed. God, go. I'm reloaded! Oh. Where did you get that other... Where did you get that other bottle of Dugans? Where did you get that shit? It doesn't decide. I'm going to sue them until they put a label with, with no bottles in your ass. It's the goof of all time. What's the fucking point in any case? I gotta argue with you. No, you. You can do that. I'll have some too. Party some. I'm going to bed. Don't fuck with me, fella. I'm talking about a fucking Cadillac car that you owe me. I don't... Oh... You need my Hot Wheels? You told me close thus and so you get the car. I know. I got the car. The Hot Wheels car we talked about, right? Yeah. Fuck you! You owe me the car! I'm... Alright, man, I got it. Here's the 2015 uh, Hot Wheels Cadillac. Cool. Yeah, there you go, man. There you go. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Uh, take that shit. Glory, Get the fuck out of the sewer. Glory, right? hallelujah. Right. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You were saying. I was saying, go home. I humiliated you. Oh my god. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I just humiliated Really? I'll put Twino. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. Feel, you know what? You can stay over tonight, man. I cared about what he wanted, and I never judged him. No. Why? Because I never rejected him. Right. In spite of all his imperfections, I'm a fan of man. You know what? I love you, Al. You can stay the night. I'm making a bad. I'm here on the ground with my nose in it since the whole thing began. You're gonna have your nose in it tonight, my friend. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. Yeah, you told me about that. Uh Look, Uh but don't touch. Okay. Touch, but don't taste. Okay. Taste, don't swallow. And there it is. Okay, and now you're going back in time to episode one. Or you're going forward in time 
to episode seven. This is six, right? I gotta check that out. That'd be cool to do because if I do this on every episode, and I used to be a regular, I used to come in with a general garbage. A general. This sounds like a good general. Um, episode the last one was five. Let me go back to my thing and see the hoozy. Oh, I think all my episodes are there and, until it's until it starts costing me like I gotta, okay, so let's see, let's go there. Make the rat dot com. Get a radio. Let me go back to my thing. Whoa, and see I'm the tripping hoozy. out. Oh, I think all I my auto play are there and, and until it's Oh look at those rats, they're eating until corn. It starts costing me like they're eating corn. So, um, there. so we got season one, got 2016. Let me go back to my thing. Whoa, I'm oh, tripping out. Yeah, you're tripping out, oh, man. I but episode I one play. is called Test. Until Let me end that. Oh, we got uh, episode two, From the Unknown. Three, Midnight from the Sewer. Alien Sharp. This is six. All right. Um, well, this was six. You're going to either hear episode one now. Which was really fucking bad. He shouldn't be on on air. I don't know who let this happen. It's I guess the great sponsors. Uh, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go there or episode seven. It's gonna be titled oh, and it's gonna be uh, the air date. I don't I don't know either. But either way, there you go. Have a good night, everybody. Peace. Peas? Peas and carrots? Peas and oatmeal? Peas and cheddar cheese? Where's... Where's the button? Voice meter... You get caught up in the... Voice meter... Voice meter... Oh, this is a great program. It really helps. This voice meter... Uh, I got butt... Butt... Uh, it's another program I use. Anyway, yeah. Episode 1 or 7. Have a lovely situation.